So this is the final pair. Well, Mia Manganiello tends to be one of the skaters that comes from behind. She's strong throughout the whole race. If she can get up to speed quickly, she will be strong in the finish, and she'll have a great shot at finishing in the top three. Perhaps. If she does not get up to speed tight quickly, then it's going to be a very hard road. Perhaps she could knock Shoutens off the final spot, the third spot, as Shoutens knocked her down in the 3,000 meters earlier. Well, it's certainly what Mia Manganiello is hoping for, and she looks like she's off to a very good start. You look at her position, she's crouched, she's low, she's got a lot of power, she looks relaxed. It doesn't look like this is costing her a lot. She's got a good speed. She was two seconds off the time by Bo and Bergsma, but that's not surprising. They're the best 250 meter skaters in the world. Yeah, her sights should be set on Shoutens. Two minutes, point eight two seven for the third spot. That lap was about one second faster than the first lap skated by Shoutens. Again, what Shoutens did so well, though, was be strong at the end of the race. Acker and Manganello, final pair. And there's the bell for the final lap. Mia Manganello watching through her fingers as Shoutens beat her in the 3,000. Then apparently making the team, but not having the qualifying time, so not able to go to the Olympics. Now here's her final chance. Mia Manganello down the back stretch, trying to get that third spot and beat her rival Shoutens. Two minutes, 8.27 is the time of Shoutens now. And here comes Manganello into the home straightaway. She's trying to make the Olympic team. She's digging as hard as she can. She's trying to speed to the finish line across her time. 159-31, she has made the Olympic team. Wow, well, one of the stories of these trials, disappointment, oh, followed oh. by disappointment, and now capped with elation. After a stressful week, race after race, just coming up short by technicality in one event and just by getting bested in another. She makes the team. She's been fighting for this since she was 13 years old. In 2002, after those Olympic Games, I met a young inline skater named Mia who came out to see the oval before she switched. She has been fighting ever since then. She took a break to become a pro cyclist. She felt like she wasn't done yet in the sport. That's, that's the smile of an Olympian right there.